Alright everyone, Epic Slayers here, welcome back. This might just cause a wildfire within the community, but let's get into it anyway. With the news of seasonal characters coming in Season 2 as part of the Season 2.0 update, one of the biggest questions raised by the community is, why? Why seasonal characters? Now we are still waiting for an official statement from The Division 2 following the uproar within the community uh, a few days ago, but Yannick, during an interview recently confirmed why Massive decided to take this route. Now, if you are someone who was totally against seasonal characters in The Division 2, I feel this may just be adding fuel to the fire, but hey, it's only right we know why, so let's get into it. Okay, so the interview was published on June 13th by Adam Moreno of GamingTrend.com. I will leave a link below to the full video if you want to go and check it out. It doesn't just talk about uh, seasons 2.0, Yannick talks about some other bits and bobs, um, year 7, that sort of stuff. So yeah, highly recommend you go check it out anyway. And it was taken on the last day of the Summer Fest. Here's a clip, take a look. And let's not forget that uh, season 2 that will come this autumn will be a very, very interesting change, we hope, for our uh, old and new players, uh, the seasons 2.0 that uh, will bring for the first time in the Division universe uh, a seasonal character. And um, I'm gonna let Yannick fill in the blanks here of how uh, things are to unravel in season two. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, Thanks for the intro. <laughs> uh, so for, for seasonal characters, so the idea with seasons 2.0, which as Radu said, is gonna come with the second season of Yassi. So not the, not the one we're starting now, but the one that will come later. Uh, the whole idea is that we really want to create a unique experience with every new season and that starts with having a new character. Uh, and it's really important for us to, uh, to start from scratch with every, everybody, which is also a great opportunity for new people to join yeah. because everybody starts from the same level, <laughs> from level one. Uh, so you're no longer, you know, way behind other, uh, other players. Uh, but this especially allows us to create a completely handcrafted experience in terms of balancing, in terms of mechanics, in terms of, you know, we know where the players are, where they're going to be at what time in the progression. So we can create something that is really going to be truly unique and different with every new season. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, that's going to start with season two. So we're going to have a bunch of things. We're going to have new events, new gameplay modifiers, new gear, of course. Uh, so people that are used to the game will find it very hopefully refreshing yeah. and different uh, because the, the mechanics and the builds and all that is going to be very different from one season to the other. And again, new people will have an opportunity to come to the game because everybody starts from level one, everybody starts from scratch. So every season is a new opportunity to join the game and, and start with everybody at the same time. All right. So how far did you make it before you were in the comments? I've said in my last two videos on seasonal characters that I'm going to have to play through what Massive are trying to deliver here before giving my kind of final thoughts on seasonal characters. I've got nothing to draw on any experience. I've never played with a seasonal character before, unlike a lot of you guys. Um, I also completely understand uh, why there's an uproar within this community. So when Yannick in this interview talked about the new player experience and seasonal characters, and I got the impression that was the main focus um, or main reason why uh, they've got seasonal characters. I just knew that this would blow up. Now, my first thought was actually the Division 3. What I see with seasonal characters is a way for Massive to encourage new players to the game with every season bringing all players back to the same level. I know that this is not going to go down well with a large portion of this community, this particular news. You know, these are people, myself included, who've devoted, devoted you know, a ton of time into their current main characters. And so they're not going to be happy to hear that one of the reasons why we're getting seasonal characters is for that new player experience. I just know it's not going to go down well. I also understand it from Massive's point of view, from a business perspective. Massive are trying to encourage new players in anticipation of the Division 3 dropping in a few years. That's what I'm getting from this. One of the biggest reasons that people don't play the Division 2, and this also applies to most live service games that have been live for a very long time, is that new players, they're just so overwhelmed by everything. You know, if you've got to jump into a game that's been live for six years, you've got so much to catch up on. 
And most people, they, they simply just don't have the attrition to stick it out. So this is massive kind of way of, of fixing that. At least that's how it feels to me. Now, I hate being pessimistic because for me, I do like the idea of, of a seasonal character, at least on paper. You know, as someone who prefers the level 1 to 40 experience more than the end game in most looter shooter games, and I appreciate I'm, I'm probably in the minority when I say that, do new players, however, really want to invest four months into a new character to have that reset at the start of the following season? I mean, I'm not so sure, to be honest with you. Plus, this does come at the detriment of vast portions of this community who, who want to play any new content that we get with their main characters for obvious reasons. These are people like myself and, and many people who have been waiting for new content, certainly DLC content, new missions, to be able to go in there with their current characters. And that's just not going to happen. And of course, there are plenty of reasons why people uh, not just want to play the seasons, but there's plenty of reason why people are not happy about this. For example, the story. Many players see their main character as their kind of avatar to, to that world and this story. You know, we all spent hours, hundreds of hours, getting vanity items, skins, dyes, whatever it is, to make our characters look the way that we would like to look. The Division 1 and the Division 2 feels very close to home in respect of its story. You look at what's happened over the last couple of years, and it was kind of foreshadowed in the Division 1 in many ways. And, and this new Seasons 2.0 is kind of invalidated that, and that's just highly concerning. The grind, of course. Many of us have sunk thousands of hours into this game. Some of you hitting crazy SHG levels. I've seen like 50,000 or some crazy numbers. You know, farming gear, weapons, mats to optimize our characters. But what for? The new seasonal content will only be available to seasonal characters. So make that make sense. Now, I don't want to repeat myself. I, I don't want to go on to what I've said in previous videos because you guys know the issues that have been raised within the community, and if you've seen my last two videos, you know where I'm at. Aside from the new player experience, Yannick does talk about how they want every season to be unique, with unique modifiers and events, and this is only possible when everyone is reset, because this allows Massive to anticipate where everyone is uh, in that season at any given time. Uh, Massive will be able to specifically tailor every season to exactly what they want, so it is more than just about the new characters, of course. But it's really hard to cut through the noise that the seasonal character news has created within this community, uh, especially now that we know why, one of the main reasons, I assume, why we're getting seasonal characters in The Division 2. There you are, guys. I haven't really got much more to add to this. I'm sure you're going to let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this, and I can already anticipate what those comments are are going to be but you know please go down to the comments leave your thoughts and feedback down there and if you did enjoy this video drop a like subscribe all that good stuff and until the next one epic out